Hey everybody, I'm Kirk with PDQ.com, and today we're going to talk about distributing packages with SimpleMDM. The really cool thing about SimpleMDM is you don't need locally installed binaries or packages. It uses the native Apple MDM protocols. So when SimpleMDM sends a command over to a client, local processes handle the installation and execute any scripts that are needed. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into how we do this. So I want to explain my environment a little bit so you understand um, what we're trying to do today. We're going to deploy Firefox, and I have two client machines, 2-5 and 2-6. If you look here in the list, you can see that Firefox is already on 2-6. It is not installed on 2-5. So the way that we control filtering is with groups. So I have a new group called Content. You can see 2-5 and 2-6 are already in my group. So let's take a look at each client, and I'm going to open them in new tabs so we can refer back to them easily. So this is 2-5. We're going to go ahead and look at what apps are installed. You can see there's a list. You can type a filter string real quick. 2-5 does not have Firefox. Let's do the same thing for 2-6. It does have Firefox installed. Version 9.8, 98.0.1. And I realize that I haven't downloaded the latest version of Firefox. So let's do that real quick. And we need to specify PKG because the default download will give us a, a DMG file. That's not what we're after today. So we scroll down to the latest version, which is 98-0-2. We're going to do it for Mac, United States English, oh, EN-US, there we go. And we're going to get the 98.0.2 PKG file. Okay. With the software now downloaded, we can go ahead and add it to the catalog. So if you look under the catalog, you see that Firefox doesn't exist in the list. So on the right-hand side, we're going to click Add an App, and it'll be a custom app. This is as easy as dragging and dropping from your downloads directory into the area, letting it go, and you'll see the download takes just a second. Then we're going to click Done. Once you click Done, Simple MDM takes just a minute to process the file. It, uh, the logo still shows the package, and it says Processing. When that is done processing, it will show the Firefox logo. And while that's processing, let's talk about the file types that are supported. You can use a .pkg or .ipa file natively, and you can use a .dmg file with third-party support like monkey scripts. All right, and with that, our application is ready. So here's another really cool feature about Simple MDM. Firefox wasn't there before. Once we add it, it goes through and figures out which systems have it based on the inventory. You can see that 2.6 is in this list, and there's some other machines, but they're not in the scope of what we're doing today. But that's just a really cool tip that you can see which versions it's on after you upload it. So with the application now uploaded, we need to uh, create an assignment group. So we're going to click under Apps and Media and Assignments. We're going to create an assignment group. I'm just going to call it Firefox. It's the standard group with Auto Deploy left enabled. So now that that exists, once we it shows in the list below, we'll go ahead and click on a Firefox. Under Apps and Media, we're going to add Firefox. And we're going to target the devices. Now, I can target by the group, and that's more powerful. But if you wanted to, you could target by the machines directly. Um, we don't recommend this. We recommend using groups. I'm going to target the content group today. And with the application added and the target group in place, under Actions, I'm going to hit Install Apps and Media. And that will take just a minute to install. So once that has installed, then we can kind of watch that happen if we go back to our remote sessions. So they will show up here in just a minute. And you may see a cutscene here through the magic of editing, but it doesn't take very long. As you can see now on our machines, Firefox shows in both instances. And just to show you that it works, I'll launch it in each instance. When we come back to Simple MDM, and we go back under our catalog, and you click Firefox, and it installs again, you'll see, well, it's not quite here. The first thing we need to do, and I, I missed this step, is we need to actually refresh the device. So I have machines 2.5 and 2.6. So on the right-hand side, under Actions, we're going to click Refresh Inventory. And it will tell you that it will update inventory every hour. In our case, we don't want to wait an hour. So we're going to force a refresh of the inventory manually. Then we come back to our catalog, Firefox, Installs, and now you see that they are both there. Both 2.5 and 2.6 are present. If we check under each machine, under Apps again, we sort by filter fire, you can see 9802 is installed on 2.5, and on 2.6, we also have 98.0.2. So you can see that in, the software was installed where it wasn't present and updated where it was present. 
So as you can see, with Simple MDM, package deployment is simple. Whether it's new installations or updates, Simple MDM has you covered. So if you liked what you saw today, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Kirk with PDQ.com.